myself, Dr. K. Vishwanath Alam Raju, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Technical Hyderabad. We are going to study and discuss about straight line motion mechanisms uh, such as Hart mechanism and the Scott Russell mechanism. What is this Hart mechanism? Yes, this Hart mechanism is a six links mechanism. The motion of the path traced by output points gives a straight line motion. So, if you want to understand the point, the path traced in this animation, you can understand the path traced by a point P. Point P gives a straight line. Even though the path traced by other points, which are in curved lines, such as the points are C, D, okay, Q. These paths may be moving in different curved lines, but the path traced by a point P is a straight line. If you understand the concept of Peaslayer mechanism, we have to understand the same concepts, geometry concepts for this mechanism, so we can prove that the path traced by a point P is a straight line. Now, exactly the straight line, the piece of uh, heart mechanism is without these dotted lines, how many links are there? Those is very simple to make you to understand. This is a heart mechanism. E O A Q C D and B. This is the this is the heart mechanism. But in order to explain mathematically, we are assuming that. This is your point P. The path traced point P is a straight line. You have to prove. For that, we have to draw all these. We have drawn all these dotted lines, which are similar triangles. For proving that, using for similar triangle principles. So we have drawn all these dotted lines in order to prove that the path traced by point P is a straight line. Now, in this mechanism, in this mechanism, it indicates that how to design the mechanism, the description of the mechanism is the lens AB equal to AB equal to AB equal to CD and AD, there is another point, where is that AD? This is the AD. That AD equal to this AD length of the link AD should be equal to length of the link CB. Next one more condition. This O and E, this OE should be equal to OQ. Then these conditions are satisfied if you attach the links in a given manner, then definitely the path traced by a point, any point on the link BC gives a straight line. Now, this OE, where is that OE? This OE is a fixed link and OQ is the movable link. Again, OE is the remains fixed and OQ is movable. When OQ is under motion, this OQ pushes the link AD, gives motion to AD, that AD gives motion to CD, the CD gives motion, CD gives motion to BC. So, when OQ is connected to link AD and AD is connected to CD and CD is connected to CB. Now, 
the links are arranged in such a way that a b c d what is the a b c d a b and c d a b c d is a trapezium a b c d the links are arranged in such a way that a b c d is a trapezium when it is a trapezium then immediately a c in this a c is parallel to this a c line is parallel to which one b d line this is the b d now pins e where the pins e there the pins e and q on the links pins e and q on the links where is the pin is yet uh, where is the pin e on the link a b where is the q q that q is on the link a d and the point p and the point p is on the link b c so this e p q is a straight line it is a straight line motion now let us take it the triangles now now e p point pins e e q and p this e is on link a b q is on link a d and p is on link b c okay now located in such a way that we have located in such a way that it remains a straight line how it is the ratios that a e by a b a e by a b equal to now a q a q by a d next another point p is the point point p then point p comes what b p comes that is c p by b p that is the ratio the ratios remains the same when we call it the ratios are remains the same we have to create the triangles similar triangles related to this point q p e q p we have to create now triangles that is the meaning then the ratios a e by a e by small by a e by a b equal to a q by a q by q d a q by q d a q by a d equal to a e by a b a q by a d next point p c p by c b now it can be shown that when you wave q rotates about then o q rotates about o and p moves in a line perpendicular to the extension the u o produce perpendicular to u o okay this is the description of heart mechanism okay heart mechanism very important in this heart mechanism the points a q p the ratio of when we are taking the pin set a q p we are taking a pin set a q p please understand then a e by a b equal to next that a e by a b related to point e next ratio should be related to point q what is the point q a this q is on the point on the link of a d then a q by a d next consider point b that point b is on the link of c b that ratio is that c p by coming total c b okay then when at that time if the ratios are equal that is the condition there are two conditions are here no there are two parts of conditions are there this is the part 1 and it is part 2 are condition 1 and condition 2 this condition these conditions should be satisfied for designing in order to get the heart mechanism of straight line motion path of point p and next portion is that this is the ratio the ratio should be remain same then opq op and this op where is the op moves this oq rotates about point o and p moves a straight line that is called perpendicular to the eq extended or eo extended eo produce that means p moves perpendicular to the fixed link that is horizontal portion it moves whatever the motion of oq may be why it may be because the ratios point e 
QP are on a straight line, their ratios with respect to the particular links are remains the same, then the path traced by point P is, is a straight line, is a perpendicular to the UO extended. This portion you can say that heart mechanism is completed if you strongly justify it. But we want to explain further to understand the cons uh, concepts of geometry to prove by using the concepts of geometry to prove that point P is a straight line. Then immediately what it comes if a point P is a straight showing a straight line we have to use the similar triangles. Now let us begin. In a triangle ABD, A, B and D, this is a triangle. There is one triangle. Another triangle is there connected to AB, that is ABC. Another triangle is ABC triangle is there. That is A B C. Okay. Now we are using these two triangles. The ratio, then if we consider the triangle ABD, A E by A E by A B that is given that equal to what is the next one? AE by AB this side. Then that same triangle, then what happened? AQ by AD. By considering the triangle ABC, the same ratio you consider it. AE by AB because it is the common side for both the triangles. AE by AB equal to consider this portion. That is which one? Link. That is the diagonal. That is the diagonal link is CP by CB. Therefore, next, what is the conclusion from this? Therefore, EP is parallel to this EP is there, EP is parallel to which link? It is parallel to EP is parallel to AC. Thus, and also it is parallel to another link, VD. Now, how many links are parallel lines? AC is parallel to AC is a parallel to EP and it is also parallel to BD. There are three parallel lines. Now that is first one portion. Next condition we are applying next ratio. What is the next ratio? Now we are considering E is over. Now EQ EQ and EP. Now EQ and EP, EQ and EP both are parallel. So, so AC and BD, where is the AC portion? This is the AC portion and BD have, have a point E, which is the point E? This is the point E. E is common. Therefore, therefore, the point traced by this AQP is a straight line. That is the portion. Next. Now we have to connect the portion of how the path traced by PP dash is remains the same. Okay. So these are the triangles we are using. The next triangle is that the next triangle is in relation to we are going to use common to the base. Common to the base point E is the common here. Based on this base Next, we considered before ACB portion and another one is called ADB portion. Now, another link, another thing is that now next to one, next triangle, equal, equal triangles are EQ, AEQ. This is next portion, AEQ. This is one triangle. To find out another common triangle, what is the common triangle is? ABD, we are taking another triangle that is ABD.
ABD and AEQ. Same ratio you apply. What is that ratio is? EQ by BD, that is EQ by BD, that is diagonals, parallel lines equal to EQ by BD equal to ratio of EQ by BD equal to this AE by AB. Then from that, EQ equal to, what is the EQ equal to? AE by EQ by BD equal to AE by AB. From that, EQ equal to BD times AE by AB. Okay. Next we are going to another portion. There are another triangles are there. What are the triangles are? Similar triangles. BEP. Now this is the BEP. Okay. BEP. BEP is there. BEP and BAC are similar. BEP. This is the BEP. And B, A, C. We are portioning, we are applying this portion. Now, same ratios. From that, what we will get? E, P equal to A, C times B, E by A, B. Now, finally, what will happen here? E, Q by E, P dash equal to E, Q dash by E, P. The next portion. This is a portion. In triangle A, B, D, if you consider the triangle A, B, D, if you consider the triangle A, B, D, a E by A B equal to A Q by A D. Next portion is that finally what we got it as E P by A C equal to E P by A C E P equal to A C times B E by A B and E Q equal to B D times A E by A B. Now the ratio is that finally we know that ratio E Q by E P dash equal to EQ dash by EP. From that, EQ dash into EP dash. From the, tri from the ratio EQ dash into EP dash equal to EQ into EP. We already found what is EQ and what is EP. That EQ equal to, from that, EQ equal to BD times AE by AB. Next, EP equal to AC times BE by AB. Substitute over here. The ratio we are going to find out, the ratio is remains constant. Complete it come out. What is that you see? Now EQ dash into EP dash. Then substituting AE into BE by AE into BE. Then BD into AC. Then what will happen? EQ dash, this EQ dash come to numerator, AB into AB, AB square. Then finally, A into BE by EQ dash into AB square, this is BD and AC further simplifying. What is that BD equal to? This is B and D, BD equal to BF plus BF or FB plus FD. AC, but this AC equal to this AC equal to what? This is the same length. That is AC equal to BF or BF minus AC equal to BF minus FD. AC equal to BF minus FD portion. Then we will get it this as a AC portion. Then BF plus FD into BF minus FD. A plus B into A minus B. That is A square minus B square. That is BF square minus FD square. This portion is remains the same. Then further simplifying, AE by BE by AQ dash into AB square equal to, we are doing what is the BF square equal to? This BF equal to what? This is a right angle triangle. According to Pythagoras theorem, BF square equal to BC square minus BF square equal to what? BC square minus CF square and FD. Where is the FD portion? This FD square, again another triangle. FD square equal to CD square, hypotenuse square minus FC square. Now, what is that BC square? AE by BE by EQ dash, AQ dash into AB square times. Further simplifying, the CF square, CF square get cancelled. Then BC square minus CD square. Now, AE is a constant. BE is a constant, EQ is a constant, these are all are
constant parameters. The set remains constant. So E P dash equal to constant. What is that E P dash equal to constant? This is E P dash. When this E P dash is constant, as you have explained in before session, same horizontal line. This extension is remains constant. That means path traced by a point P, P P dash is always perpendicular. So the projection when E P dash is always constant. Therefore, the projection of P on a horizontal line that is U O extended is always the same point. When the projection projection is always the same, when it will be the projection is always same point. When the point P moves in a straight line or perpendicular to the A O horizontal, then only its projection is a constant, is remains the same. Otherwise, if it is in curved line, here it is. When it is in curved line, what will happen? The projection will be changing. Horizontal projection it will move. But the projection P is always the same. Projection means what? The shade of the point P. That means the trace of the point P is remains same. Because here, why it remains same? The ratios of all ratios are constant. So P moves in a straight line perpendicular to E O. So this is the Hart mechanism. Finally, you see what is the motion of the path P. You can understand in this animation how the point P is giving a straight path. Yeah, this is the portion. Is always straight line. Even though remaining points are moving different curves. Which one is fixed here? Here, this is E, and it is Q. U O. U O is fixed. What is moving? This is Q is moving. This is the Q portion. This is the Q, and it is point P. Okay. Thus, we can understand the path traced by point P is the projection of the point P is remains same. Why? Because the E O is constant. Extension of E O or E Q dash is a constant. That's what we have proved in this mechanism. Now, next mechanism is Scott Russell mechanism. What is the Scott Russell mechanism? It is also one of the straight line mechanism. But how many links are there in this mechanism? Scott Russell mechanism having three movable links. One of the link is a slider S. What are the three movable links are? Please don't understand here. I don't make it complex here. Very simple mechanism here it is. O. Slider. That's it over. This is O Q and it is the point P. It is a slider. Fixed link one, two. Okay, this is link two, and it remains. It moves along with that. There is no little motion. It moves. Yes, there are three movable links are there, but it is a. Link one, link two, link three, and link four. It is a four-link mechanism, but it consists of. But there are three movable links, plus one fixed link. There are total four links. So Scott Russell is the person uh, discovered or designed this mechanism. Now, what are the links? Are O Q P S. O Q is one of the link. P S is another link, and S is the slider, and the slider moves along the line O S. And what is the crank? Crank is the O Q. 
the links are connected in such a way that now again the links are connected such a way that this QO equal to QO equal to QP that equal to QS QP equal to QS that means QP and QS this point Q is the center of or bisecting or center point of the line the link PS now you see how let us see how the motion the slider is a sliding okay the path traced by by point P is a straight line okay even though it is in both the direction we can see in this how the point P is a tracing a path is a straight line now how to make it explanation again you have to use concepts of a geometry we want to get the path that is to point P is a straight line means the conditions are QO equal to QP equal to QS then as QO equal to QP equal to QS a circle can be drawn passing through point O P O P a circle to be drawn about the point O P and S what will happen P gives a straight line path and S gives a horizontal motion so and P and S with the P S where is the P and S with the P S as the diameter and we are going to draw Q is the another circle Q is the center there are two circles are here one is the O is the center another one Q is the center circle O center circle what is the radius of the O center circle O Q what is the Q center circle is the Q P is the center Q P is the radius so OQ is another radius and PQ is another. This OQ by taking the OQ as the radius, O is the center and by taking the PQ is the radius, Q is the center. After drawing Q at this center circles, now O lies, where it is? O lies on the circumference of a PQ circle or the Q is the center circle okay and ps is the diameter pq is the radius and ps is the diameter next therefore very simple the angle p o s angle p o s is a which angle right angle triangle now angle pos is a right angle right angle angle pos is a right angle this is right angle 90 degree this is true for all positions of yes only when it will be true for all positions of the yes when it will be true all positions of this is true when op becomes a right angle when this is true when S moves on a straight line or when P moves. This is true when P moves on a straight line. When P moves on a straight line, the angle between POS is remains a right angle triangle. Right angle. Right angle comes only when P moves on a straight line. That is the meaning. This P should move, this path P should move on a straight line. When then only this S, the whatever position may be, the angle between POS is a right angle, the angle between POS is a right angle, when for all the position of the S, when P moves on a straight line. So that means R perpendicular to perpendicular to OS, P should move perpendicular to OS at O.
in this by using this justification or by using the systematic logically logic we are going to uh, we mentioned that uh, the path p should be becomes a straight line or the whatever position of the s based on simple concept is that the concept of the angle should be a 90 degree right angle this all position of the s the angle pos is a right angle when the path p or the locus of the point p should be remains straight line this is a scott russell mechanism okay and we can understand better this is scott russell mechanism uh, in this session we have learned there are two straight line mechanisms number one hot mechanism and number two second mechanism is a scott russell mechanism thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates